Hey folks, Brian Blessing in Las Vegas, always looking ahead to football, cannot wait. An AFC South preview for you today here at bangthebook.com. Follow along on Twitter, at Brian Blessing, at bangthebook. Listen to the sports betting podcast with our pal Adam Burke. All right, the AFC South, regular season win totals. Let's say Indy's the favorite, nine and a half, over $1.35. Finished the season in great fashion last year. Andrew Luck bounced back from injury. It uh, seems like that shoulder's good, and he can take a big step forward. Uh, and I think one of the really interesting acquisitions for the Colts uh, in the offseason came on draft day. They got Rocky Sin, the defensive back, and he's a stout player. They think he's going to be an impact player. But watch out for Paris Campbell, the wide receiver from Ohio State. The kid's a rocket slave. Could be one of the steals of the draft. You team him up with T.Y. Hilton. All of a sudden, you've got some real weapons on that offensive side of the ball. And Spencer Ware came over via free agency, the running back, along with Devin Funchins, the wide receiver. And then the big edge rusher, Justin Houston, the big free agent signing. Looks like a good season in store for Indianapolis. Uh, the team I think is really interesting in the AFC South is Jacksonville. Eight wins over a dollar fifteen. They get Josh Allen, the edge rusher, and Jawan Taylor, who dropped in the draft, starting talent on the offensive line. Did good work in the offseason and the draft, but it was Nick Foles coming over now with no Bortles there. Foles manages games, doesn't lose games. Jacksonville regressed mightily last year. I think they can revert back to the form of two years ago, and they've got to behave. I mean, they are more mental head cases, and discipline can be a problem. But talent-wise, look out for the Jacksonville Jaguars. Tennessee, eight wins, over $1.15. Uh, on draft day, they get the defensive tackle, Jeremy uh, Jeffrey Simmons, but the wide receiver steps in here. A.J. Brown from Mississippi could be another terrific weapon for Marcus Mariota. They get Ryan Tannehill as depth behind Mariota via trade, but they get Cameron Wake, the defensive end, and Adam Humphreys, a nice possession receiver. So some good work done by Tennessee here. And this is a team that always flies under the radar. And you look at this division. I, on paper, regular season wins-wise, one of the most competitive divisions in the NFL. The one that's bizarre is Houston. Had a nine-game winning streak last year. Uh, they're sitting on the board at eight and a half, under a dollar ten. And Deshaun Watson, maybe he could bounce back to that rookie year. He was a crash test on me last year. And they had a real questionable draft. And the first round pick was an offensive tackle, uh, Howard, uh, from a small school. I, there's some real question marks about what Houston did here in the offseason. I don't think they did a whole heck of a lot, but Dejon Watson, if he's healthy, if the offensive line shows improvement, it's a very, very good football team. But I think that Jacksonville and Tennessee really closed the gap here, and Indy looks to be the team to beat in the AFC South this year. Always fun talking football. There you have it, an AFC South preview. Right here at bangthebook.com, I'm Brian Blessing in Las Vegas.